Hey guys, CJ here, PBX How To's. Going to show you another vector, vector, vector series video. This one on vector variables. Now, vector variables are extremely powerful because you can do a ton of stuff with them if you know how to use them properly. So, some examples uh, weather emergency messages. Um, what else? What else? Uh, on call. I'll show you how to do one of those too. Uh, so, but let me show you the weather one, okay? Some of you are used to using uh, agent IDs and skills and all that stuff. Don't do that. This is this is an easier way, and this is more of a, a better way to do that <coughs> for the system. So, as you can see, I have five announcements. Turn weather off, turn weather on, weather on, off, select, weather open, weather closed. This is for my example. You may have more, but just to show you. First things first, add your variables. Change var. So I'm going to say weather status type is collect scope is global because you want it to be accessible through the entire system length one because I'm just going to select one or two assignment is two now this is the data this right here is the data and the reason I'm setting it to two is because my my greeting says press two to turn it off so two is a, think of this two is open one is closed All right so there you go now we're going to add our administration vector this is for people to uh, set weather. So we're going to say weather or set weather stat uh, <laughs> status. All right. So that's what that means. So we're going to collect. I'm going to show you a really cool tool. Notes get uh, to turn on weather message press one to turn off press 2 okay I'm just doing that so you can see you can add notes in vectors which is handy all right so let's do this collect one digit after announcement 3117 because that's my on off select and we're setting the variable for a okay got it all right good so I'm gonna take another level to this and say go to step 5 if uh, a equals one go to step six if a equals two this essentially says uh, actually I'm gonna go to six and seven so let me fix that six just so you can see it six uh, is the you've selected all right so we're gonna say disconnect after announcement so go to step six if it if you press one so if you turned it on all right so that's three one one six disconnect after announcement that you turned it off three one one five all right so there's your administration one and I'm gonna call it so you can actually hear it and I'm gonna show you it in a list trace okay here we go now I'm gonna change the vector that allows me weather check this is the one where people call in to check to see if the office is open. All right, so we're going to say wait time, two seconds, hearing ring back. Uh, let's see, go to step, we'll do seven if A equals one, and go to step, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Again, I'm doing this for you so you guys can see it. You can read it. A equals 2. So we're going to go to 5. And I'm going to say disconnect after announcement. 3119. Because 31119 is our closed message. So what I'm going to do, actually. I, 4. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to say note. Office is closed. See how I'm doing this? it updated go to six and we're gonna go to eight and this one's gonna be open so I'm gonna say announcement I don't know what is it open is three one one eight and I'm gonna say wait time three seconds hearing music and I'm gonna go to step whoops go to step eight if unconditional so what this is saying oh I did it again Eight. I'm putting a note here. Office is open. 
All right, see, so you see how it automatically updated? So I'm showing you a little trick with the edit button. It automatically updated the stuff that I moved down. All right, so office is closed, office is open. All right, enter. List, trace, vector, one, three. All right, so now I'm gonna call it. So listen closely. Press one to turn the weather emergency on. Press two to turn it off. So I'm gonna press one. You have turned the weather emergency on. All right, so now I'm gonna call, oops, list, uh, trace, vector 131. Now I'm gonna call like I'm a caller. I'm checking to see if the office is open and the weather emergency's on. Okay, you can see it did that. So now, list, trace, vector 13, trace, vector 13. Now I'm gonna turn it off. Call. Here it goes. Press one to turn the weather emergency on. Press two to turn it off. You have turned the weather emergency off. Okay, there you go. Now, list, trace, vector 131. Now I'm gonna call back, see if the office is open. Come on. Thank you for calling. There currently is no weather emergency. Please come to work. There's the music. Thank you for calling. There currently is no weather emergency. Please come to work. Okay, so there you go. That's how you use a vector variable. Makes sense, right? Here's another way. I'm going to say I, well, no, I won't. I'll do that in another one. But as you can see, as I updated it, it's set to 2. Watch this. Uh, display var. You can see it's set to 2, correct? Now watch what happens when I turn it on. Press 1 to turn the weather emergency on. Press 2 to, you have turned the weather emergency on. Okay, so I've turned it on. And there it is. Now it's updated. It will stay that way unless you go in here, unless you actually change var, and you go over and change it, or you call in and you set your vector. That's it. Pretty easy, huh? So what I'll do is I'll do another one where you can do routing. All right, so this is a simple one to do weather messages or emergency messages or whatever. We're closing the office early for a meeting, whatever the case may be. I'm gonna show you how to do this. I'm gonna set one up on how to do uh, like out calling, let's say picking different people. All right, so have a good night.